Game one of three in the Electro Sports Baseball League playoffs and Bulldogs Bay are taking on their divisional rivals, the Lingo Blend All-Stars. Lingo Blend having had the best of it for most of the season, but the two teams ended up only a couple of games apart. So this could be a this could be a big one. Now, given that this the playoffs, all current uh, facets of team management are reset which is a nonsense way of saying no one's got any mood swings and nobody's wounded. So we're playing our opening lineup. Cindy Vapid will get us underway, and it's Chet Vacant, the former Bulldozer Power player, who's pitching for the opposition. Well, okay. Well, Cindy's going to wait her time here. We're going to want to dispatch Chet relatively quickly because uh, he's, uh, he's a good pitcher, but that's a Vapid base hit. Yes, she's in. Uh, and an error thrown there as well, just for good measure. It was close, but it worked. Pretty, pretty sluggish strike there from uh, from Cindy, but she got it done. Uh, anyway, it's uh, it's Limafisto up next, and uh, Cindy takes off. Cindy, 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 Cindy. Oh, she was quick, but not quick enough. She's gone. That's a disaster. Yeah, it is. Uh, she was very slow on the uptake there. Uh, Lynn. Swung at a rubbish pitch and, uh, and gets penalised as a result of that. Thanks for that one. Here's Zoltan. He's had a great season, uh, Zoltan, but uh, but hasn't uh, hasn't had a good game in a while. That was that was the one. That was that was the one. You were just late to the party. Strike two, vacant. He's having a good time, but he's not great at strikeouts. Well, I mean, anything could happen. The way we're playing at the moment. I mean, getting rut and flipping, rut caught on a flaming flipping, oh, just for a jar. End of that inning. Right, that's job, job done there. Let's go and see what the Lingo Blend team are made of. Here's Flapjack Nope, who's going to lead off for them. And uh, he's, not a, he's not a monster hitter, but he is allegedly reliable. We've got Big Dez uh, on, the, uh, on the mound for us. And we'll see if Big Dez can do anything big. Dez, what, you, what, what are we talking about today? Uh, Capsicum. Oh, just short. Didn't quite make the play there. And they'll get a runner on first. Well, we did the same thing, so, you know, that's that's fine. Here's Christopher Biscuit. Big Tash. And uh, he's, uh, he's in a positive frame of mind. The team are in a strong position, uh, having, uh, having led throughout the entire season. I don't think anybody else actually challenged them uh, for the top of... Uh, Whatever division it is. Are we in the whoop whoop division? I can't remember. Feels like we should be. Uh, that's another one put in an awkward position. Mephisto will have to field that one. And they now have runners on first and second with no outs. And Chief Otto parts. The right fielder is next up to bat. Obviously, they've got home field advantage. You know, that, that, makes, a, that makes a difference, right? That's popped up. Steve is looking for it. And has it. He'll hust that over to third just to be on the safe side. Here's Charles Monkey Cage. Um, the, a fourth strong batter. They've got some strong, strong batters going on here have, uh, of the All-Stars. Which is, I mean, it's more or less what you'd expect from an All-Star named team. But uh, at the same time, you know, what? Don't know. All right, well, that's strike two. Can, can Des make this one work? Not with a pitch like that, he won't. Uh, something, uh, something up and away. Lovely. Monkey Cage dispatched. And uh, okay, we just need to get rid of Dave Caustic and and, uh, and we've managed to keep our pride intact here. So let's see if we can keep our pride intact. Nice pitch from Dez. Dez is so far. He's throwing it more or less where he wants it, which is oh, okay. I take it back. Oh, it's alright. He fouled it off. Well, okay. He's a sucker. Uh, inside, high and tight. Nice. Yeah. Oh, the rage there from Caustic. And uh, at the end of the first inning, it's nothing to nothing. Uh, two hits, plays one. Yeah. Well, we got caught stealing. Yeah, I know. That never happens. Yeah, I know. They must have a really good catcher or something. Or well, Cindy was just slow on the uptake. I felt she was fast on the uptake. Yeah, I know. But evidently, that's not the case. It's Steve Murray up to bat. Uh, Steve, he's had a... He's had a banner season, has Steve, but he's going to be—he's going to be out at first here. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, the best season we've seen from Steve Murray on his uh, on his batting, but uh, I mean, it changes nothing because he just got out. So you know, it, you're only as good as your last at bat. That failure, that swinging at a clunker. Uh, 
That one's more like it. That's the furthest we've hit one so far. It's going to be caught, obviously, but uh, that's as far as we've hit one so far. And it wasn't good. Here's Jemima Hurts. Uh, started blowing hot late in the season. Uh, maybe she's uh, maybe she's got some maybe she's got some action for us today. Maybe she hasn't. But none of the team has really had much action for us today. So it's, we're going through the warm up run. Okay, everybody's everybody's having to get themselves into into a mood. Jemima's swinging at everything, uh, rather suggesting that uh, I'm on tilt. Uh, okay, All right, get back off tilt. I'm off it. There's ball three. Good. That's more like it. And Jemima manages to spark one up to centre field. But we're, uh, we're into the tail end of the batting order here. So whether we can make any magic out of this is anybody's guess. But it's Capsicum Disco who uh, has, has surprised me. And nay, nay many people with her prowess this year. And that's a lovely hit. But I don't think it's got the distance. I'm right. It hasn't. Oh dear. Oh well, okay, alright. So it's uh, it's Michael Poems next up for Lingo Blend, second baseman Michael Poems. He plays second base. He's Michael Poems. Let's start him off with a uh, with a four seamer, and uh, manages to draw a foul off it. A sinker on the second one, and they went for it because he's a dipstick. And inside tight, there it is. And Des is looking tasty. Here's Rick Skirmish, uh, the first baseman. They have a lot of talent in this team. Well, they're, they're going to be gutted in the uh, in the end of season uh, shakeup. Uh, the end of season shakeup for those who've uh, who've not witnessed an end of season before. Uh, each team loses three players off their roster, which three is largely dependent on how they perform throughout the season. So the further you get in the playoffs, the more high quality players you have to abandon. They all then go into a pool of all the players, and the teams pick in uh, in a draft order. So worst team picks first to uh, to replace the players that they cut. Cindy gets sort of I I couldn't tell you. I, I have no idea what was happening there, but what it was wasn't great. Yeah, here's Chet Vacants. Is he? I think he might try and bunt. You know. Okay. Well, what do you want to do about that? I oh, just throw the ball at him. Okay. Here we go. There's strike one. No, he's going to try and hit it. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Where should we put this? Uh, put it somewhere where uh, where attempting to bunt might end in disaster. Steve? No, that one's gone foul, which is fortunate because uh, otherwise Steve was lying on the floor looking like a burk. Um, and, uh, and we're still... What happened there? He's out. Because he fouled on a bunt? Well, I have, uh, there's an arcane rule that I'm not necessarily familiar with, and uh, he's out. Could I don't know. All right, well, though, uh, whatever reason, I'll take it. Uh, two outs now. Runners first and second. Flapjack no up to bat, and, uh, and we need to get rid of him here, because this is dangerous. All right, there you go. Yep, yep, throw some utter rubbish at Nope, is absolutely right. And uh, at the end of two... Still deadlocked at zero. Bernadette Mistakes is next up to bat for us. Uh, Bernie, she's had a, she's been okay. She's, I would say, she's done the right, right amount of work to stay on the team. Uh, but uh, anything could happen when you're, when you're into these middling kind of plays. That's a beautiful hit, and uh, Bernie's not going for one. No, sir, she's going to make it round first. Heads for second, and a double there to lead off in the, uh, in the third. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm pumped. Can you tell? Here's Des Eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come on, Des. What do you fancy? Coming up on 30 pitches for Vacant. It's been quite an efficient... Oh, dearie me. Why are you leaving that alone? Um, yeah, what were you saying? Bash. Yeah, oh, that's a, I mean, that's a gift. And uh, Bernadette's going for home. And there is your opening run of the game. Bernadette Mistakes batted in by Des Eyeliner. Uh, the, the number of times Des comes good at bat is ridiculous. Uh, back round to Cindy Vapid now. And no mistakes from Cindy this time, please. Although she'll probably just get out. Here we go. She's going to get everybody out. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. But it doesn't matter because we've got a run. Here's Lynn Mephisto. 
Cindy, uh, not uh, not having the best of days so far. Oh, she got a hit first time round. Uh, but even so, not the best of days. Shame she got Des out. Des was, uh, he's having a lovely time being on base. Lynn there with a base hit. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, a big dinger from Zoltan here would really lift everybody's mood. But has he got a big dinger in him? And is that something that is safe to say on a family show? Well, no, no, that was awful. Awful, Zoltan. Awful. Still, we got a run. Hey! That's what we like to see. Here's Chris Biscuits. He's waggling. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see what we can do to uh, get this inning underway. We're, we're also coming up on 30 pitches. Both teams very evenly matched so far. And it's going to come down to those those single plays that really make a difference. Uh, and that's, I mean, that's kind of an optimum point for someone to get a hit there, you know. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, slide one in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone loves the top corner. <laughs> ah, Des. He goes, oh, I'm a wily old dog. I'm Des Eyeliner. Here's Chief Otto Parts. He didn't manage to get anything first time around, but it's second time around, and therefore the clock is reset on him. Found that one off. Well, that's not doing him any favours so far, because that's a that's a strike. Yo, oh, you middle count up and in and what have you. Okay, well, let's right, see if you see if you predict this clown. No, he's looking at it, going, "What is this? I don't understand this voodoo." That's that's a dangerous one. Oh, he's, he he just looked at it. And nothing happened, and he's gone. Cool. Okay, here's Chuck Monkey Cage, and we we dealt with him relatively quickly on the uh, on his first at bat. Let's see if we can't do the same here. I think he might get a hit here. You know, it feels feels like they're overdue a hit in this inning, and so uh, they probably will get one. That one's gone foul. All right, Des, where are you sticking this? I'm sticking with up and in, or not. Oh, he hit that one really hard in the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, something. Oh, it's a spankingly good pitch, but it wasn't quite legit. All right. Uh, what about middle and low? Or not. That one's very, very high. That's about as high a hit as I've ever seen, but it hasn't got the velocity to reach the crowd, and failure makes the catch taking the team back to wherever it is that it came from and at the end of three it's one nothing bulldozer power you wanted a close game you've got one so far i don't want a close game i want to blow these people out but first i want to knock chet vacant's block off if at all possible steve probably should have had that one but he didn't that's uh, ball two okay yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not your pitch, Steve. That was not it. No. Steve's gone. <sighs> okay. Some poor t t poor judgment going on at some of these uh, some of these strikes that we're making. Uh, and hopefully we can shake those off. Failure with a nice hit. And we'll make his way to first. Just bounced as the fielder got to it. And that's what we like to see. Here's Jemima Hurts. She got a nice hit first time round, uh, but uh, it's now second time round. I've used that already, but I, it, it bears repeating because it's still true. Strike one, arguably. All right, okay. No, bad. Failure having a dive back to first to get back in, and uh, that's now two outs. Capsicum Disco uh, will be our, our final batter, probably. Or will she? She's hit a toffee out of that one. Yeah, that's come out the quality street tin, that one. That's very good. Uh, if the, that fence were a little bit lower, that was a home run. And we've remarked before how Capscom Disco has really deserved more home runs this season, but just hasn't had them. Uh, but unfortunately, she was denied by the wall. Burning that mistake, swinging a little early on that one. Didn't really, didn't really get it. Didn't know, didn't get it. That one was very high. Uh, Chet vacant maybe showing a little bit of a little bit of ill judgment in some of these pitches as uh, as the pressure of the day starts to strain him and uh, Bernadette standing her ground getting a walk and that will leave us Des eyeliner well anything could happen with Des 
No, I'm not sitting him. He's he's in a great mood. He had a base hit first time round, and that's all we really want from him here. A base hit, Des. You get us a base hit, and you're a flipping golden man. I mean, you're a golden man already, but a base hit would be absolutely tremendous. Come on, Desi. Come on, Des, 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 Des. Well, that's ball three. All right, he gets another ball. I know, should have. But no, if he gets a, if he gets a ball here, uh, then he's... Uh, he hasn't got a ball, he's got a base hit. Flipping Des Eyeliner, getting it done. And uh, that's a run right there. And here's Cindy. She's tense. Rightly so, because the bases are loaded. Oh. Cindy smacks it one time. But I think the fielder might have time to get there. Caught in the foul zone. And an opportunity blown. Oh, dear. We can't blow... It's the playoffs. You can't blow opportunities in the playoffs. No, you've got to... Uh, you've got to respect them. And uh, buy them dinner. You've got to... What? what? The opportunities. You've got to... You've got to treat them keenly. And, uh, and not meanly. What the hell are you on about? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, Des is trying to be too clever here and needs to just throw some regular stuff. That one's gone down the line. Uh, but it has ended up foul. Alright, two and two is the count. Des, just, just throw something sort of regular. There you go, that's sort of regular. Bernie? Bernie? No, no, doesn't feel like it. Okay, All right, sort of regular, about there. There you go. Yep, can't hit it even when I make it easy for you. And Caustic, once again, rages. Uh, he's uh, appalled at his bat and his prowess with it. But here's Michael Poems. He looks at the first one and just goes, yeah, 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 I see what you I see what you're doing. Looks at the second one, gives it a little tappy tap tap into the foul zone. And uh failures make the Zoltan rather making a move there. Can't get to it in time, and that will be a base hit. One out. And here's Rick Skirmish. Uh, runner on first, who is allegedly a stealer, which means that he'll take second in time. So Rick Skirmish has battered that one like an absolute madman. Uh, but he is caught by Zoltan out near the fence. The runner doesn't manage to advance. Cindy has it at second, and that's two away is Perry Rage quit the catcher. Who, uh, who can hit it a very long way if he th feels like that's the sort of thing that would be beneficial. Well, let's see if he does. There's the inevitable trying to steal second. Or rather, he's stolen second. All right, keep, him, keep him inside low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inside low. That's what we want. Three in a row inside low. And that'll put him away. That's three in a row. You've got to do something else now. All right. Uh, inside high. I do like inside high. I know. It foxes them as well. They, they, they struggle with inside high. Where are you putting this one? Back to inside low. Too low, maybe. That's close. Uh, Capsicum can't quite get to that. Failure will throw straight to home. Uh, runners now at the corners. Still two outs. As Chet vacant up to bat. And uh, they're keeping him in. They have the faith in the vacant. Well, he doesn't need much. I mean, just a, a little tickle will get him on base if he puts it in the right place. But he's now at strike two. And uh, Des is giving them the look like, all right, pitcher, what you playing with? Yeah, you were the BDP number one. I'm now the BDP number one, and you are going back to the dugout. Oh, dear, oh, dear. At the end of four, BDP lead 2 nothing. That can change so very, very, very quickly. Uh, here's Mephisto, who will be endeavouring to start as brightly. I mean, obviously, that's what she's going to endeavour to do, whether she does it or not. Anybody's guess. But she's going to give it a spin anyway. Uh, two in the dirt there for vacant. Mephisto swinging at one that was too, too inside. He should have left that one alone. It's two and two is the count. <sighs> I thought it was swinging. It wasn't swinging. She's struck out. And here's Zoltan. Uh, 0 for 2 so far today. Anytime you like, Zoltan. You can you can start playing any time you please, and he's run out to first with another lackluster base hit attempt that didn't. Uh, speaking of lackluster base attempt hit that didn't, it's Steve Murray.
Waste no time in putting that one nowhere good. Okay. Car Steve. Come on, Steve. Steve, 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 Steve. No. No, Steve. All right. Steve. No. Steve Mori. It's Steve Mori, everybody. No. Ball three. Three in a row. One strike so far. He gets a walk. Okay. All right. We'll take it. His failure. He got a base hit last time around. We need him to put one uh, put one out to uh, towards those orcas. If he can uh, if he can drop them, maybe knock the top one off that pile that they've got going on there. I don't know what they're trying to replicate, but whatever it is, that's what we want to take out. But it's not going to work. And he's history, as is the rest of the team. Okay. Yeah. Keep waiting for a breakout inning, and we haven't had one yet. Uh, either team, either team could do this, and it's uh, Flapjack Nope who's first up. Des sticks one high and away, and it's no good. No. All right. Tries it again. This one's a bit better. That's more like it. Okay. And uh, that's his 60th pitch of the game. So we're starting to get into the. Uh, how long are you? How long are you good for there, Des? And at the moment, Des is good for a little while yet. But he's, uh, you know, we, we keep an eye on these things. It's important. That one's popped up. Steve's not going to get to it. Bounces on the uh, asbestos that we've got lining the dugout there. And Des. Nope. That one also. Nothing doing. All right. Okay. Des. High away. Bending. No. High away. Bending was the wrong answer. That one's history. Well, there we go. We, would, uh, we have, expect a home run in the game, and there's one. Wrong team, obviously, but there was no one else on base. So that's that's something. Christopher Biscuits, uh, his first home run of the playoffs, obviously, because it's his first game in the playoffs. He would be hard-pressed to have a home run coming into the playoffs, given that this is it. This is the, the first time around, and that's knocked Dez's confidence a little bit. Shouldn't do. He's, uh, he's been a strikeout wizard so far for us. Uh, I'm not despondent about a home run. They happen. You know, that's it, it's part of the game. But Des needs to he needs to find a way to uh, to get back into this one and, and become the powerhouse of uh, of batter destruction that we know that he is not only capable of, but is. There it is. There, yeah, batter destruction. Like that. Where you can throw something completely horrible and they go, oh, yeah, 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 I'll have a go at that. Mind you, saying that, I do the same thing, so that's real. Uh, we've got Charlie Monkey Cage, who's up to bat. Beautiful pitch from, uh, from Des there. Failure will snag that one out of thin air, and that's the end of the inning. Score now, 2-1. to one. Bulldozer power lead. But it's, it's on a knife edge, friends. It's on a knife edge as we head into the sixth inning. All right, Jemima Hurts next up. One and two so far. Nothing remarkable. Wastes no time in hitting it and getting caught. Okay. Yeah. Feel free to waste some time, you know. Wasting time works for us, especially when their pitchers start to get tired. Uh, but that said, that just means that every at-bat is an opportunity. Not That wasn't. That wasn't an opportunity, uh, Capsicum. Let's see if you can't... Uh, oh, dearie me. Oh, Capscom Disco there swinging at absolutely nothing and uh, and is dispatched with a strikeout. Uh, it's Bernadette Mistakes, two at-bats, one double, one walk from her. Very nice. Uh, Bernadette Mistakes has been a... You know, she's been a solid fixture in the team and her performance has also been solid. That's two strikes now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a trickler. I don't think she's got the pace. She doesn't. And she's gone as well. Bulldozer power giving it up in no time flat. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. The, the offense is showing signs of wavering. And, uh... No. It's okay. It's fine. The Urizuah. They're unnecessary as Dave Caustic hits it foul. Uh, that one's gone long. And it's... Oh, come on. It would, have, it would have bounced off the fence railing thing. Just. Oh, unjust. It's what that. Dave Caustic with a bit of home run. Tying up the game. And, uh, and we're no outs in the sixth. Uh, Lingo Blend. Are, uh, well, they're just, playing, they're just playing the game. They're just playing the game. They're just playing the game. 
you know, it's it's hardly the end of the world. Jemima Hertz will have that. There's the throw to first. And that's out number one. Don't even know who that was. Here's Rick Skirmish. One or two. He's got himself a single today. Uh, but uh, can he do more? Yes. Yes, he can. He can get another single. Uh, Zoltan snags that out in centre field. Throws it back in. One out. Runner on first. Perry Rage quit. Two of two for the catcher. Well done, you. You must be so pleased. You don't look pleased. No. You look kind of salty. Uh, and uh, Des is not finding the target here quite as readily as we'd like. Des, find the target more readily. Ball three. Three in a row for Des. Des. What's shaking? There you go. A no risk one straight down the middle there. That one's dangerous. And there's a walk. Oh, no. <laughs> We never give up walks. You just did. Uh, Chet Vacant's being substituted. They're bringing in Jenny J. Sonar as pinch hitter for her first at bat. Uh, Dez is looking weary. He's not looking weary. He's looking fine. Uh, but he is weary, evidently, because he just gave up a chuffing walk. Yeah, I know. This is the playoffs, son. You can't, you can't mess around in the playoffs. You've got you to play your best game. Ball one. Uh, that was a nice pitch. That would catch out quite a few people, but uh, Jenny J there pulling her uh, pulling her bat at the last instance uh, was uh, was the smart move. Didn't help me out any, but it was was the smart move. That one's gone over there. Jemima throws to first. Arguably taking the runner to third would have been the smart move, but an out is an out is an out is an out. Des eighty five pitches deep in the day. Uh, can he? Uh, can he make it all happen? His flapjack nope is, is hoping to be able to get a base hit, which would give them the go-ahead run. Oh. Tension. Friends. Yeah. I think Des is done for the day, though. Cindy, she's got it, and that will do the trick. Out number three. A, a minor sigh of relief there, uh, as uh, Jenny J. Sonar's taken back out again. Bertram Von Sluis coming in to relieve. As we head into the seventh, it's all square, two apiece. Oh dear, the tension's building. Here's Des Island. Do we want him to bat? He's got two singles and two runs batted in. Yeah. Well, he's well. We're committed now. Yeah. All right, Des, make good decisions, son. Okay, the fresh pitcher there, struggling a little to find his target, but that's a lovely hit from Des. Has it got the bounce? No. Monkey Cage with the diving catch. It was a great hit. Uh, a bit more pace, a bit more distance, or a bit less distance, and Dez would have had a base hit there, but he didn't, so he hasn't. Uh, it's Cindy. Yeah. You keeping Dez in? Well, I was thinking of substituting him. So why don't you bring in a flipping pinch hitter? Oh, I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, that's three, three balls in a row, and uh, Cindy's not in a rush. That's the full count, Cindy. She has to take that one. And once again, we'll be run out to first. We've had a few of those so far today. Low tricklers through the infield that are then caught out by second base or the shortstop and uh, are resulting in a nothing. Yeah, resulting in a nothing. And the question on the lips of many, nay all, will be, is there a home run coming from Bulldozer Power? Feels like we've not had one in a very long time. Here's Zoltan, Lim Mephisto making it to first base there. Uh, but uh, what's Zoltan got for us? Well, he's certainly put some steam on it, but once again, nothing for Zoltan. And Bulldozer Power, once again, sit down with nothing doing. Here's Christopher Biscuit. He's two or three. He's got a single. He's got a home run. He's got a run batted in. He's having a lovely day, and his mum's very proud of him, and we're going to sit Des. Uh, yeah. Des, you've done enough for one day. Let's bring in the Conservative. Jeffy Boy Conservative making uh, his debut in the playoffs. His playoff debut. No, he's been to the playoffs loads of times. That's not what I mean. He's turning up for the first time in the playoffs. Now it's the first game in the playoffs. Everything you're saying is utterly redundant. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. All right. Jeffy Boy certainly not finding the target quite so readily immediately. Uh, well, nobody's seen a change up yet today, so let's see if that works. <laughs> All right, 
Uh, Jeffy Boy, get a kid, uh, get any, uh, get any old uh, change up in and a strike out is Chief Otto Parts, who's playing like Zoltan in the game so far. By which I mean he's he's having a stinker so far. Yeah, he's got a big fat duck egg from three at bats, but uh, that can change. Not if he keeps fouling it off like that. It won't though. I know. Jeff just outside there. All right, Jeff. Yeah. That's a nice pitch. Uh, Lynn Mephisto's running in for it, but I don't really think she's going to get there. Oh, Mephisto dives underneath the ball. And I'm foxed once again by the absence of accurate depth perception at that distance out in the field, and that gives up a double uh, with only one out so far. Conservative will not be pleased at that fouling error. I could, I mean, you know, you were either in the right place or the wrong place, and I was in the wrong place. But I couldn't tell. Felt like I was sort of in the right place, and yet I wasn't. Uh, burning mistakes. Can't get it. Doesn't get it. And we've given up the third base there. Oh, oh dear. Runners at the corners. Dave Caustic up to bat. Stay confident, man. Stay confident. Staying confident. All right. Uh, Jeff starting well with a nice strike thrown. Uh, Cindy has it. There's the throw to first. Well, we took the easy out. There was a double play there, but was, we were just sat on a double play and we gave up a run. Yeah. Yeah. Gave up the run. Runners now first and... Uh, no, just second. Just second. Uh, but they got the run. And that's what we didn't want. No, we don't want them getting a run. No, we don't. No, that's, that's the antithesis of what we actually want them to do. Yeah. Change up? No, no. Change down again. All right, okay. Change ups work best if you, if they are a low pitch. That's a beautiful piece of pitching there from Jeff. Uh, but it didn't result in what we were hoping for, which is a big K. Cindy jumps. Can't. Failure has it. That's the running for home. Three failures thrown for home. And there's another run. And all of a sudden, the lead is now two in favour of Lingo Blend. And they ain't out yet. No. Oh. And they've, they've come to play, and uh, Jeff's conservative is waned. Strike two. That's good. All right, try that. No, fouled off. All right, keep it low. Keep it down. And right there. Oh, crikey. That was going to be off the fence. Uh, Mephisto lets it fly over ahead, which doesn't really surprise me. If there is the opportunity for Lynn Mephisto to, uh, to not make the play... She's your girl. She's the one. She'll make it happen. Uh, and that's another run batted in. And this game's getting away from us. Uh, Jeffy Boy Conservative is struggling out there. He's not making any kind of an impact at all. And uh, he's thrown two balls in a row. Oh, Jeff. Uh, th made that. Oh, no, no, that was a ball, but he, he swung at it. So, you know, it's anybody's guess. Change up. Yep, there's strike two. Right, now, throwing one over here. At Steve's head. Why? Why would you swing at that, you clown? Anyway, we put them away, but not before they've got three runs. At the end of seven, it is Lingo Bend. Lingo Bend. Yeah, why not? Five. BDP, two. BDP, we need to find a way to score. Now batting the catcher, number 61. And that fit, it, I mean, obviously, that's an obvious statement to make, but it's true. They need to find a way to score. Got to find a way of scoring here, people. Find a way of scoring. Here's Steve Murray. Uh, soaks up two balls in a row there. Let's call that a third, because it is. Steve is out. Why were you batting on a 3 nothing? I know, I know, but it was a lovely looking pitch. And at some point, we're going to stick one over the fence. We have to. Yeah, but if Steve stuck one over the fence, it's only one run. Yes, but it's one run. Failure. He's gone long with that one, and that's going to be a double for failure. Maybe more if they cock it up. No, no, no. Take the double. Take the double. He had time. He had time to make the third. Could have made a triple off that one. Uh, but instead, Ulysses failure, getting a double. That's good to see. The captain there leading by example. Could Jemima Hertz follow up on that? Yes, she can. Uh, failure. He's got the legs for it. He's running. And there's a run. 
Good darts. Here's Capscom Disco. Alright, Capscom. Talk to me. What you got? Good hit. And it's a good hit from Capscom Disco. And that gives us runners on first and second. Uh, okay, Bulldozer Power are not done yet. Here's Bernadette Mistakes, who's been successful today. There's a word in there. Moderately, I think, was probably where I was aiming for, but uh, <laughs> the moment has passed. Uh, it's ball one. Okay, one out, runners first and second. Bernadette Mistakes, up to bat. Yeah, okay, ball two. Oh, that would have been a, that would have been a good one. Uh, two strikes, two balls. Pops this one up. Get back, everybody. No, no sense chancing anything off that. And that's out number two. Well, I think we've got to do it. I think we've got to do it. Jeff, sit down. You're not pitching well, and therefore, let's bring someone bring someone capable in. Uh, crampons. No, no, this is not a crampons moment. Crampons moment is later in the game than this. Uh, tiny little feet. 27 feet tall. It's Veronica Hammock. Alright, get settled, Veronica. Get settled. Get settled. Be calm. That's not it. Out number three. And uh, the, the side is retired. We did get a hit, but it wasn't good. Uh, tulip, please. Really? Nah. Come on, Disneyland. You're next up. Don't fail me. I'm I'm sacking you at the end of the season if you're in one of the ranks that I have to sack because he's a B grade player. Uh, if I if I have to sack someone of a B grade at the end of the season, it's you. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. It's it's you who's gone. I desperately want you out of here, Disneyland. You have been nothing but a disappointment the entire year. That's out number one after the smallest level of hit that you could imagine. Uh, Flapjack, nope, next up. Four at bats, one hit so far today. And uh, come on, Diz. Straight to Bernie. Well, Diz is being very efficient so far, but let's not just don't go there. Well, there's Christopher Biscuit. He's, uh, he's certainly in the running for being one of the four stars. Three stars. I don't know where I got the fourth one from. Uh, in today's lineup, uh, with his home run having uh, having done good damage, if you're a Lingo Blend fan, if you're not a Lingo Blend fan, it hasn't done good damage at all. Very efficient from Disneyland, three away in about six pitches there, lovely. As we go into the ninth, BDP need two plus to stay in it. We're at the top of the order. Cindy Vapid's up first. She's had a nothing game so far, and her confidence has been down since she was run out in the first inning. She's wasting no time, however, in getting caught out from the first pitch. Booyah! Here's Lynn Mephisto playing a little better offensively than Cindy, but uh, that's not saying much. Alright, settle in. There's ball one. Alright. Lynn, with a third base hit of the day, gets on first. Zoltan. Paging Zoltan. Would Zoltan Zoltan please report to the plate? Zoltan Zoltan needs to do what Zoltan can. Right now. That's not it. Should have waited. Don't just swing it. Don't, look, I know you've got this, this spirit of destiny thing going on where you've got to go, this is going to be the one. Uh, but uh, doesn't mean you have to swing at the first pitch. Here's Steve Mori, two outs. This is it. It's coming down to this one. Here in game one. Uh, and uh, Steve's done absolutely nothing in today's game. So uh, this would be a good time for him to uh, do something. Yeah, because he's not going to get another chance. No. All right, we found that one off. I don't know if that was going in or out, but it was close. And therefore, we swung at it. That's a little better, but it's not good enough. And that will be the end of that BDP lose the opening game in the playoffs oh we held it you know we had it we almost had it we didn't have it 13 hits apiece a close match and, and no mistake uh, Lingo Blendo taking it 5-3 to alright ok we'll be back for game 2 strikeouts are plenty though 12 strikeouts for Lingo Blend ouch ooh painful painful 
Uh, but two for, for BDP, and that's not something we do very often. <sighs> yep. And uh, it is Jeff Conservative who, uh, who is awarded the loss of the game. Quite right, too. He stunk the place up. He did stink the place up. Uh, although it was Des Eyeliner giving up two home runs that put the rot in place. Your three stars of the day, Des Eyeliner is number one. Rick Skirmish and Dave Caustic round out the three. Time to see how the other teams got on. And uh, Bumps and Medics taking on Colonel School in the Fail Brigade uh, playoffs. And, uh, well, yes, uh, well, anything could happen. Colonel School, the favourite. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Medics off to an early lead. And uh, Colonel School come away with it and, uh, and win that one comfortably. All right, the next game we get to watch is the Erg Mellon Flex Chroniclers against the Sunshine Fun Bus. Uh, the uh, Fun Bus have been strong all year round. So, you know, what are we going to see from them? Are we going to see a, a Fun Bus victory? Yes, 5 1. Uh, and then we're coming to the tournament, uh, the tournament favourites, Cheerio Incorporated, uh, up against the Bongolia Sea Raiders. Uh, Cheerio Inc., top rated team in the entire league. Lance Splendid pitching for them today. Uh, but let's see if they're if they're going to just smash. The Sea Raiders get an early start. And the Sea Raiders have got to win. Ooh, okay, well, with week one of the playoffs behind us now, uh, we'll be back for game two because I will play every game that's critical. If we win game one in a three-game series, we'll let the AI play game two. And I will play the critical third decider if it's required. However... Bulldozer Power, once again, do or die. Join us next time, won't you, for the midweek game. Midweek game. Midweek game. Midweek game. Midweek. Yeah, two games a week. We Because I, I want to round out the season in due course. And, and uh, if we get knocked out, we will watch key games rather than just let the season fizzle. Who wants to watch the season fizzle? Nobody, that's who. I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next time. Cheerio.